major news coming out of the Star Wars front. They just announced the full main cast for Star Wars. First of all, we know a lot of the classics are coming back. We're getting Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, uh, Princess Leia, fucking original Chewbacca, maybe them damn robots. Where the fuck is Lando Calrissian? But the new cast is where it really shines. First off, they just announced John Boyega to be in this movie. And it looks like he's playing the lead. So it looks like I'm getting what I want, people. If you remember a few weeks back, I said I wanted a black Jedi and I wanted him to be the lead and I wanted it to be John Boyega. I'm happy. Disney, stop being scared. I think the world is ready for a black Jedi. We got Mace Windu in the last three Star Wars movies. Go ahead and make a brother the lead. Even though we already knew this, Adam Driver is playing the villain from the looks of it. And he looks weird anyway. He would make a perfect villain because he looks like he needs to go to the dark side because his head is deformed. Everybody knows Andy Serkis. They know him from Lord of the Rings. They know him from Planet of the Apes. He's also going to be in this movie. Andy Serkis is the motion capture king. Can you imagine the creature Andy Serkis might play? He might be a Jedi monkey with four lightsabers. He might be the shit. Now they have not announced the roles that these characters are playing. We just know they're in the movie. But judging by the order they announce them, you can tell, and you can look at some of these people and tell who they're going to play. You can tell who's going to be a protagonist and who's going to be a Sith Lord. Come on now. You can look at some of these people and tell who's going to be Sith Lords. Warner Brothers in DC just will not shut the fuck up about Batman versus Superman. They have cast Cyborg being played by a newcomer named Ray Fisher. On the one hand, I'm worried because Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot. But on the other hand, this could be a good thing. We're putting new black actors to work. Speaking of Cyborg and the Justice League, they have Warner Brothers has officially announced that Justice League is happening and it's supposedly coming out a year after Batman vs Superman. It looks like they're depending on Zack Snyder to help them catch up with Marvel. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, but I mean when you're DC you only have one basket because you threw the other baskets away or you won't go buy any better basket. You know what? I'm tired of talking about this shit. DC get on my nerves. Hollywood, I got a question for you. I don't make an episode for like two weeks and you decide to put all this stupid ass shit out? I'm about to name a list of four movies that shouldn't happen. A Barbie movie. A movie about peeps. The fucking candy you eat at Easter. A Goosebumps movie starring Jack Black. And a movie about Archie. Do you hear this shit? Who signed these dumbass contracts? What what could possibly you could make a movie about peeps? Go look up peeps on the internet. You know what peeps are. The little bird shit. You can't make a movie out of that. Barbie. You making a Barbie movie. Barbie. And the Goosebumps movie, I mean, it has Jack Black in it. That should tell you that it's going to fail. I'm losing faith in you, Hollywood. For all the good shit like John Boyega being in Star Wars, then you give me four stupid-ass movies.